What's going on, Omni Buddies? Mitch here, and today we are doing a little bit of shelf care. No, I didn't say self care, I said shelf care because as a collector, you need to take care of your books. You need to uh, make sure your shelves aren't your shelves aren't sagging. Some people worry about spine sag. If you're worried about spine sag, go watch my video on spine sag where I talk all about my best tips on how to take care of your uh, hardcover spine so that it can stay structurally sound and all of that. If you are worried about that, do that. Uh, but there's tons of things that we got to worry about as collectors with these huge, heavy books. Uh, but sometimes we buy some books and they're not in the best condition. They come to us uh, with specifically two issues that I see pop up a lot. The first one is remainder marks. That's a lot of times you see that as like a little dot on the top of the uh, text block. Like it looks like Sharpie or something like that. Uh, if there's kind of an overstock and they get rid of books, so they'll put like a little remainder mark on there. I don't know why they feel like they have to do that. It's super annoying and it bugs a lot of collectors. It doesn't really bug me too much, but I know it bugs a lot of people. And it's just, it is just kind of annoying to see that, like this stupid dot on your book. The other thing is, and I really do not get this, and I really hate this, is when people put stickers on your books. Uh, a lot of times like at half price books or things like that, they put those stupid little yellow stickers on there and you're trying to peel them off very carefully uh, so you don't tear the dust jacket. And especially you pull it off and the worst thing is you finally get it off of your book and it leaves the stupid sticky goo on your book and it collects dust on it and hair and just dust bunnies, all this crap. And it, and it just looks terrible. So two things I've always seen that people are always wondering about how to fix on books is remainder marks and sticky and, and sticker residue. And I have the perfect book for that today that we can look at. This has an epic remainder mark because it came from a library. Let's see if we can get that in focus here. There you go. Um, I, no, it's upside down. There you go. Seattle. Seattle Public Library, so no longer property of Seattle Public Library. That is a huge stamp they put on there. That is not just a remainder mark. That's a big old stamp. The other thing is, this used to be a library book. Uh, it had the sticker on the bottom, and when they pulled it off, it left just a big thing of residue on there, and it's terrible. So what can you do about this? Well, we're going to look at it. Um, first thing, we're gonna look at sticker residue. And the only thing you really need for that is some paper towel, maybe a light towel, uh, if you're really wanting to be careful, some Q-tips, something like that, and some goof off. Uh, there's other brands of this. This is what I happen to always use, and I see a lot of people use it around there. Um, there's you know different strengths of it. This is just kind of like the general heavy duty remover, goof off, little spray bottle. Some people have like the tip bottles that you dip, tip out and, uh, you know, onto a paper towel or something like that and you wipe it off. I actually just use this to uh, get sticker residue off of my car's rear windshield, uh, or windshield, rear glass to, uh, cause I had those little uh, vinyl decals and they sat in the sun for years and years. And then I went to, you know, scrape them off and put a new one on and it left sticker residue all over. So I sprayed this on there and used some uh, baby wipes and paper towel and then uh, let it sit for a minute and just use a razor blade very gently and it came right off. So there's a little extra tip to add, you know, rabbit trail for you. But we're gonna use this for uh, removing that sticker and we are going to use sandpaper for removing that remainder mark. And that is scary to sandpaper your books. So we are gonna take a look at how best we can do that. Let's lay it down on the table and uh, try it out. All right, so here we have, this is volume 12 of Mobile Suit Gundam, The Origin. Um, yeah, so it's a great series, great book, great manga, um, but it has that sweet, sweet, uh, no longer property of Seattle Public Library. Like, why? Why? Who cares? Just peel the sticker off and be done with it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it does have the... Uh, library code on the inside, like a little, the magnetic tag, and does have a stamp there. Um, but we aren't gonna be messing with that. I don't, oh yeah, it does have a stamp on that side too. But we are basically going to be looking at getting rid of this 
and getting rid of this sticker residue off of the um, spine because those are what shows, especially this. And then this is a great way, very extreme example of a remainder mark. So um, first thing we're gonna do, we will get rid of the uh, goof off. And I am using 400 and I believe this is like 600 grit, something like that. Oh, let's see, I can't really read it. It's uh, pretty faint on there, but it's like 600 grit. Um, so it's very smooth. So I'm gonna use that as like the finishing and this is gonna be the bulk of my sanding work. So uh, um, first thing I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna be a little bit paranoid because obviously when a book sits on the shelf, it's got a little bit of space here between the hard covers and the text block. So if I just push down on it when I'm sanding, you're gonna get that little rounded thing with the text block because you know it pulls away from the spine a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open it up Take it to the edge of my table so it kind of hangs off a little bit. Uh, hopefully you can kind of see that a little bit. Get it right there so it's nice and flat. Um, and then I'm just gonna hold it there pretty tightly, pretty snugly. And I'm just gonna go to town on this bad boy and see, see what happens. Get my fingers out of the way so I don't uh, sand them. So you can see it's starting to come off, uh, but it's gonna take a while. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you know, it's coming off. Get these hard covers out of the way because I don't want to get the sandpaper on top of those. You could use a smaller piece of sandpaper. But you can see that that, wow, it's super smooth. <laughs> uh, you can see it's already getting rid of it. It's not like eating into the pages or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, wow, super smooth. Um, yeah, so we are just going to keep going at this one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to record doing the whole thing, but I'm just going to be pressing hard and uh, sanding away. And I don't know, this is pretty smooth. I might not even come back with the final uh, finish sand. So uh, I'm going to keep going at this and uh, see you in what's a split second to you and what is probably a very long time to me. All right, so, whew, that was a lot of sanding. But it is basically invisible. You can barely see that now. And it is looking good. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, can always go back and, you know, make sure I'm very happy with it and get rid of everything. But um, yeah, looking good. So now we are going to jump into getting this and I am going to first kind of pick away at uh, this sticker and see if I can get the vast majority of the top layer off like so so we don't want to waste time getting getting all that stuff off there you know get the get the majority of the sticker off while I can and just be left with uh, really the problematic sticky glue so 
Uh, I will not make you watch me pick away at this because that would be really boring. So we'll speed it up and jump around a little bit and uh, come back when I have the majority of the sticker off. All right, we have uh, gotten the vast majority of this sticker off, which, you know, looks a lot better. It's looking good. Pretty happy with that uh, remainder mark being, eh, it's not even really a remainder mark, it's a stamp. <laughs> uh, but now what we are going to do, I'm gonna start lightly. I'm just using regular, regular old goof off. Uh, let's get that in focus. Uh, yeah, so regular old goof off, uh, sticker and label and tape residue and all that kind of stuff. So good stuff. Um, this one comes in a spray bottle, well, four ounces. I just have a little bit of a piece of paper towel here and I'm going to start just uh, seeing how much I got to go on this. You can see it's kind of up into here a little bit and then it's back on here too. It's a, they did, they did a pretty good job all the way around too. It's yeah, so it's like all the way, you, know, you can kind of see a little bit of a light line right there uh, where probably, you know, sitting on a shelf for years. And so I'm going to spray a little bit on here. Um, you do want to be in a well-ventilated room so you don't get super high or anything like that. But, um, and then we're just going to go for it. And you can see it is just coming, at least the... Uh, Stuff off to the side is just kind of coming right off. Might take a little bit more on um, on the thicker stuff, that's for sure. And I'm trying not to, you know, get it all over the book, and you don't want to soak it into the book either. So um, might have to take a pause and come back a little bit, and then get some more on there but you don't want it to just get soaked into the hardcover because that can really kind of ruin your your hardcover and you don't want it to you don't want it to do that so we're gonna go along the side get that nice and then i'm actually gonna take after this i'll take a baby wipe um because i am a dad and thank god all three of our kids are potty trained now but um, we still have a lot of baby wipes around and they come in handy. So if you don't, if you're not a parent, but, uh, I would definitely recommend having some baby wipes, uh, on hand for everything and anything. Cause they are super handy for getting stains off thing and like just sticky junk. Uh, I've used it for cleaning up books just by themselves. Um, and worked pretty well. Uh, just kind of clean up a bunch of dirt on an old hardcover I got and clean it up pretty nicely even without uh, having any any goof off or any kind of residue remover so we're kind of just going to town on this guy seeing how it goes I don't know that I'm gonna get it absolutely perfect yeah okay that's that's coming off a little bit but I mean, that's already immensely better. Like, yeah, you can still see some of the kind of where it reflects a little bit on there. You can see that that's uh, still got some residue on there, but it's already looking a lot better. So I'm going to keep going on this. Oop. Apparently I squirted it on the side of the table. Ah. <coughs> yeah, let's see. Do as I say, not as I do with ventilation, because I didn't want to open windows because I didn't want terrible audio with cars driving by or something like that, because that's about the time that that happens. Um, so I'm just kind of using my fingernail, getting a bunch of this top layer junk off of here. Um, yeah. Then we can use more goof off just to kind of get down, 
get the stuff off of you know that bottom layer that's all kind of sticky and gross yeah, I can whole thing still kind of sticky and tacky uh, but it did take off all that grungy grubby uh, hair and like stuff that just kind of sticks to your book after a while and it's got all that sticky junk and it just kind of collects so we are going to get a new piece of paper towel I hate to waste but it's always good to if you're trying to clean something to have <laughs> a clean piece of paper towel that you're using <laughs> otherwise you're just kind of at some point just kind of wiping dirty paper towel on a dirty book and nothing's getting clean <laughs> so don't be afraid to use a little bit more than you would want on new books eh, that's getting it's getting there it's getting pretty dang clean I'm pretty happy with that flipping the paper towel around so I can spray some new stuff on there and yeah and I'll probably let this dry and air out and then come back and hit it one more time uh, that way I'm not you know just soaking this hardcover and goof off because like I said you don't want to uh, get it soaking in that and then have it fading your book or some crappy gross thing on there seeping in. So um, I'm gonna do that and then I am going to, man that's a lot better already. You can still see it's kind of got that glossy sheen right there, um, but it's way, 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 way better. So that is, you probably wouldn't even notice that on the bookshelf which is awesome before it had that giant white gross sticker on there. So that's looking a lot better. It's kind of gross up here too, actually. So I might do a third real quick, and then I'm gonna do a baby wipe and uh, get kind of the residual uh, goof off, off of the whole thing. So I'll go kind of the whole spine. On the edge, and then I'm gonna use that baby wipe and clean it off so it's nice and nice and nice. Little bit sticky still, but dang, is that a lot better looking there like that and that? It is like a whole new book that I just got. Um, yeah. So there you have it. Um, hopefully that helps. Hopefully it made you a little bit braver. Like I said, I'm gonna wipe this down real quick with a baby wipe or you could do like a wet paper towel, maybe a tiny bit of dish soap on there, very diluted, just to kind of get the uh, goof off, off of there, off of the surface so it doesn't seep way in or anything like that. And then I'll probably come back in another day, maybe tomorrow night, hit the whole thing again and see if I can get the last little bit of this off of there. But again, yeah, you don't want it to seep way in, but it, you also don't want to start messing with the actual, the cover boards and the art on there either. Okay. All right, so that was a quick look at how we can, one, remove the sticker. It's not always the easiest thing. That one was a very thick sticker, so I might go back through and clean it up a little bit if I kind of, if I'm not happy with it or if I'm noticing it's still got just a little sticky, a little bit of a sticky tac tactile function on, uh, t you know, it's still a little bit sticky on there when I, it kind of dries out and all that. Cause you don't want to let the, uh, you don't want to let it just um, sit on there for too long and absorb into the hardcover. That's not good. Um, so you want to take breaks, come back. You don't want to do it all at once and let that, uh, kind of seep into your hardcover because that can ruin your cover, can discolor, discolor it, you know, that kind of stuff and weaken it. So don't overdo it. Take your time if you got to do it over the course of a few days to just kind of get it going and all that. Uh, but sandpaper, you know, that comes off pretty well. You could use some heavier duty to really get aggressive with it. I did two very fine uh, pieces of sandpaper 
that uh, I'd rather just take my time and not be overly aggressive with this kind of stuff and take my time to get it off there. But it works. You could get a little bit more aggressive with some heavier duty sandpaper and then uh, cl clean it up with some uh, really fine stuff too. Uh, me, I'd rather just take my time and um, go slow with it. <laughs> just like any good relationship. You want to take your time and go slow. Anyways, that's it. I hope those uh, tips helped. I hope it makes you a little bit braver to take on some of those uh, books in your shelves that might not be up to par with where you want your collection to be looking. And if you pick up a book, you're not too worried about, well, it's used, it's got this sticker. I can take care of that. You can take care of it now. All right, that's it. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, do all those things. But most importantly, comment. Did, uh, do you have another tip on how to remove sticker residue? Do you have uh, another tip on how to remove a remainder mark? I mean, you could just Sharpie the whole edge of the book or just gild it, which I kind of want to look at gilding book edges using paint and see how that would work. Cause I love gilded edges. You know, where it's got that nice metallic edge all along the side of the book. Super cool looking. Maybe you could just gild right over the top of a remainder mark. That's a good question. Or would it seep through the paint? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know. Anyways, do you have a great tip for how to take out the sticker residue or remainder marks? Let me know in the comments. That's it. Take care. Stay cool.